Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I built this nether portal design. The seed I use is on the screen, but this design can be adjusted to work using any ravine. I've included a list of all the blocks I used in the description. I started off by marking out the base shape of the tree trunk, using spruce wood. This was about 7x7 seven seven blocks, but I tried to make it more natural looking than a set shape. I then started building upwards on this shape, already thinning it out a little. Try not to place the blocks following the exact same pattern on each layer, even as you're thinning it. As I build up, I started to take the direction of the tree trunk slightly backwards and to the right on each layer. Again, you don't want to keep using the exact same shape each time. Try to keep varying your block placement to give this build a more natural feeling. At this point, I also stopped thinning it out and started to keep each layer at more or less the same size. I built upwards by about 19 blocks before going back to adjust what I had already built. I decided to thicken the base of the trunk a little, and added some roots at the ground level. This is what the build looks like so far. I went back to building on the arch, now focusing on building across, rather than up. I made this part of the trunk about 3 blocks high and wide. After I had built across about 5 blocks at the same kind of level, I started to gradually build back downwards, towards the other side of the ravine. I carried on building towards the back, to make the archway look a little less linear. You can see that I keep taking a step back from the build, to make sure that what I'm doing on this side of the archway doesn't look too far away from what I've already done. I really recommend you do this while building, I feel like it's super easy to get caught up in the details of a build and forget about the bigger picture. Once I got close to the ground level, I started to thicken the trunk again. I then added some roots on this side, as well as adjusting the structure a little, just taking away or adding in a couple of blocks where I thought it would make it look more natural. After this, I added some more roots on the first side to match what I'd done on the second. So this is how the base structure looks now. That means we can start to add some leaves. I used oak leaves and started from the top part of the arch, so that it would look like they were hanging downwards.
I then built them to wrap around the tree trunk, which I used to bring them into the sides as well as the top of the structure. I added some parts with a few blocks hanging down off the sides or from the bottom of the wood blocks. I then placed a few single blocks away from the more dense areas of leaves to give some more variety and a more even coverage. As I got towards the floor, I added some into the ground level, next to the roots of the tree. Here's how it looked once I was finished with the leaves. Next, I decided I wanted to add some mushrooms to the build. I used dark oak slabs and stairs to make a small branch coming off the trunk to build a mushroom on. I used two red mushroom blocks on top of the branch and built out from there. I feel like the red mushrooms add a nice pop of colour to this build and give it more of a fantasy feeling. Here you can see the shape that I decided on for this mushroom. I then went underneath it and added some more dark oak slabs and stairs to make the branch more smooth and obvious since it had been lost underneath the mushroom. I tried out a design using nether brick slabs here but I didn't end up liking it so you'll see me get rid of this later. On the other side of the archway I added another branch for another mushroom. I wanted to vary the shapes of the mushrooms, so I made this one a couple of blocks taller. You can see how the shape isn't the same, but is similar enough so that it doesn't look out of place. I added some smaller mushrooms around the archway as well that came directly off the tree rather than coming off branches. 
These were less shaped and I made them by just placing a few blocks on one layer and then putting a couple more on top to add dimension. I then hollowed out the bottom of some of the mushrooms that you can see from ground level, just to give them a bit more shape. This is just me getting rid of the nether bricks, since I didn't think they looked smooth enough with the red mushroom block. I do wish they would add some red slabs that look good with mushrooms though, that would be really cool for builds like this. I started to play around with adding more branches, using dark oak slabs, stairs and fences. You can see that it took me a while to decide on a shape that I liked for the first one, but since the tree at this point was curving up, I decided the branch would look best curving down. I like to build branches using stairs and slabs first, then using one or two fences at the end. This gives them more of a sense of direction. I placed more of these branches around the tree trunk, trying to make sure that I had some facing in each direction and that they weren't placed too close together. I then just started to place some more stairs, slabs and fences on the tree trunk to add some more shaping. This will help to make the build look more natural and less blocky. It can also be nice to add some fences to dense bunches of leaves to make it seem like there are smaller branches coming through them. I think how much and where you do this is really up to preference, but try not to overdo it otherwise you risk losing the organic feeling of the build. The next thing I added was some decoration. I started with moss carpet, 
putting it on the leaves, wood and mushrooms. I then added a few drip leaves on the trunk. Again, how you do this is up to preference, but I think these blocks add a really nice touch to any plant or tree based build, I'm so happy that they were added to the game. I also added some vines to the leaves and some of the wood. Now the archway is done and it's finally time to start building the portal. I attached two black stone walls to the top of the archway, with chains hanging down from them for the portal to attach to. I didn't want the length of the chains on each side to be even, and I decided not to build in the corner blocks of the portal. It actually took me a while to decide on the placement of the chains, as you can see, but I think sometimes, as with creating anything, it's important to just put something down and carry on, so you can come back to the part that you were struggling with later. The portal ended up being 7 blocks wide and 8 blocks tall, including the missing corners. I then started to shape the portal using more obsidian, using blocks in front, behind and next to it, so that the portal would still work. I wanted it to have a more circular and less blocky appearance, so I added some blocks to round off the corners and also built out from the sides a little. See here that I changed the layout for the chains one last time, so that the chains on the left are now one block in front of the chains on the right. I also tried this design with alternating blackstone walls and chains, but I ended up sticking with the original design, with one blackstone wall attaching to the tree and chains attaching to the portal. I used seven chains on the left side and five on the right. I then decided to add more shape and texture to the portal, using blackstone walls, stairs and slabs. This just rounds off the portal a bit more and makes it look more organic. Now that the portal is done, it's time to add decoration. I hung chains from the bottom of the portal, making sure to vary them in length and make sure that they didn't all end at the same level. I added lanterns to some of these and left some as they were. I also added some to the front of the portal, so that they would hang in front of it, and did the same behind. Next, I added chains and lanterns to hang off the tree branches and mushrooms, placing most of them so that they would be around the portal and draw attention to this area, but I really like how it looks with just a few that hang further to the outside of the build. Lanterns are one of my favourite blocks to use when building, I feel like they can really pull the build together. And that's pretty much the build done. All that's left to do is add a little decoration around it and do any terraforming that you want to do. I added a few more waterfalls to the ravine and then went around the archway adding grass, ferns, azaleas, big drip leaves, small drip leaves, moss, moss carpets and red and white flowers. 
This step is really up to you, you can have whatever plant blocks you like. I personally like to stick with colours that are already used in the build, so that the decoration doesn't take away anything from the build itself. And with that done, that's the build finished. Thank you so much if you watched this far in the video, I hope you found it useful. Feel free to leave any feedback or requests in the comments, but this is my first video so please don't be too harsh.